Okay, I'm going to do a quick little video here on how to use the ramps on our Intuo Leash Progressive Controller. Alright, so basically get in the programming, you hit the menu button, and from this screen you can set a few little customizable deals. You can set the hertz, which is how many times per second the solenoids will click. And depending on your solenoids, this number may need to be changed up or down. I know like the big trash can solenoids seem to work best around the 15 hertz range. Most other solenoids I start with 20. This timer on and timer off is the built-in timer output that's on the gray wire. This can be used to turn on various things like retards or possibly even a second stage of nitrous. Uh, if you're not using it, go to timer on and go down until it says disable and that just shuts it off. This uh, activation, reset, or hold. What that means is if you have it on reset, anytime you make a, whenever you make a run, anytime that you pedal the car, it will reset it back to whatever the progressive started at and reprogress. If you have it on hold and you release the gas pedal, it will hold the nitrous percentage and the time until you get back on the throttle and then it will reactivate where it left off and the ramps of course you see there's three different ramps here a lot of people will probably just stick with one ramp and uh, the way that is the start time so that's the time that the ramp is going to start which is generally going to be zero seconds which means as soon as it's activated and you're coming off the trans brake the progressive starts to work you have your start percentage which is what the percentage that you want the system to start on the end time is going to be the time that you want it to complete progressing up to the end percent so you're going to start at zero time at 20 percent so you'd launch on 20 percent and then by one second into the run it will have ramped up to a hundred percent so we'll run it through a little test cycle here and you can see it all right, of course, controller already says 20%, so I'm just going to hit the activation, and you'll see it run from 20 to 100. All right, let's say someone wants to experiment with the two-ramp system. The way this, the ramps work, which you can go up to three ramps, but let's say we want to run two ramps. Let's say I want to leave on 20%. Let's say I'm wanting to hold that 20% for six tenths of a second. So I'm going to put this on 0.6 and the start percent and end percent are both going to be 20 percent. Alright, so at that point there when the controller starts you're going to leave on 20 percent and it's going to hold the 20 percent to point six seconds. Now if you didn't have any other ramps programmed in like right now with the second and third ramp nothing in it and you stayed in the throttle it would continue to do 20% all the way until you let off of the gas. So the point six just means it's finished with that ramp but it's going to stay on whatever that percentage is until you let off of it or until a, another ramp starts. So now let's say we want to start the second ramp at six tenths of a second. So the first ramp is going to ramp up until six tenths and then the second ramp is going to take over. And let's say we want to start it at the 20 percent that the first stage ended on. So as of right now at 0.6 seconds it's going to start at 20 percent which is where the first ramp left off. And let's say we want it all in by 1.5 seconds. And at 1.5 seconds we want 100 percent. Alright, so at this point here you can see on wrap one we're leaving on 20 percent. We're going to hold 20 percent all the way till six tenths of a second. And then ramp two kicks in at six tenths of a second so it's starting where ramp one left off, which is 
and we have an end time at 1.5 so that means from 0.6 seconds to 1.5 seconds it's going to ramp the, from 20 percent to 100 percent so we'll program it and run it through a cycle and you can watch the bar graphing and see what it's doing All right, let's just throw in a third ramp just for the heck of it. Let's say let's say we're going to use the third ramp to to shut the system off. So let's say at 5 seconds we want to shut the system off. So we're going to start ramp 3 at 5 seconds and we're going to put the percent at, at 0 because we want, let's say we want at 5 seconds, we want the nitrous to go from 100% to 0. We want to shut it off, kind of like an emergency shut off or maybe even for index or bracket racing. And end time, just anything above 5 because at that point you're going, it's going to be 0 anyway. And that's going to be zero. So at five seconds, it's going to force it to zero percent, and it's going to stay at zero percent. So ramp one is going to kick in. It's going to hold twenty percent for six tenths of a second. Then ramp two is going to kick in at six tenths of a second, and ramp from twenty percent to a hundred percent in one point five seconds. And then at five seconds, ramp three is going to kick in. And basically just shut the controller off or shut the nitrous off so let's watch it now it's off so that should sum up basically how to uh, play with the ramps you know, a lot of people seem to be a little confused. They think that the ramps are just different programs that you can just set, but they actually run together. So if you're needing to step your nitrous stages up or down, and you can ramp down too. That's one thing a lot of people don't realize on this controller. Like let's say on this, let's see. You can put higher, you can start on higher percentages and ramp down. We'll zero everything out and just go back to ramp one and show you this. I know this takes a little bit. But there is some applications where people want to leave on more nitrous and then ramp it out of the system. I know I've got some drag boat, boat guys that do that. So let's say ramp one, we want to leave on 100%. And by one second is the end time, we're going to want to ramp it down to 0%. All right, now you see 99% on the screen, but that really is, is 100%. It's just rounding off, but you'll see it's going to leave on 100% and then wrap it off. All right, I'm going to do it again. So that's just another option of what the controller can do. Some controllers can't ramp backwards. 
and the thing is on this controller you're using three ramps you could use ramp one you could ramp your nitrous in and let's say ramp two you wanted to ramp it out you can ramp it out rather than just shut it off so you have different options there so hope that helped out